Sir, you're under arrest, put your hands behind your back. Sir, you're under arrest, put your hands behind your back. Taser, taser! I would describe it as every muscle in your body clenching as hard as it can with all the force that they have, all at the same time. It's not a good feeling. But that's the point. Any deputy is going to have to go through this training and receive a hit from this taser um, in order to carry one. The training includes classroom instruction. When you use it, how you use it, the circumstances under which you deploy it. A written test and, of course, real life experience. Here to talk to you for a second. What's your name? Sangamon County deputies started carrying tasers in 2005. About two thirds of the department keeps one ready in their belts. Studies have shown that when you go hands on, when officers go hands on, that the officers tend to get hurt more and the suspects tend to get hurt more. Which is why in certain situations, deputies see the taser as a safer alternative. Although that's been challenged. When a Springfield inmate died after being tased by deputies in 2007 and a suspect in a violent home invasion in Grandview died after being tased in 2010. In both cases, the cause of death was ruled as something other than the taser. And we have had some instances where it was kind of controversial about things that happened. Um, you know, I'm not really at liberty to discuss those, but the, the whole point of a taser is so we don't, we're trying to reduce injuries and studies show that that actually is the case. Part of the training also includes deputies suiting up for scenarios, ones where the taser is not appropriate. I tell you what, just give me an ambulance here. I'm they're, they're on their way. And once where it is. <laughs> 